In this video I'm going to go through a bit more of a detailed explanation in, as to the exact pages that I have set up. So there's only two types of kind of uh, posts or pages that I, I do. Pages, uh, there's pages which are these and then there's product posts which are just products. So once you're in Shopify and you're kind of making your, your thing, so if I were to go to my Shopify account, then I can go ahead and uh, let's see, click on my store pages. So I can go ahead, click pages, and add pages, right? So all I do is click add page and, and I'll add the page here and it'll appear uh, over here. I do that to uh, add pages and that's what hap that this is where they appear. And the next thing that I do is I click products, right? And I can simply just add a product and adding a product um, opens up this little menu where you can add images to your product, you can add the prices, um, you can add the weight if you want, you can add your featured images, you can put it into a collection or a category, um, you can do simple stuff like that and you're going to have, eventually it's going to look like, if you were to go into a, into a product, let's do this, 3 meter long owl kite, eventually it's going to look kind of like this, so you've got your images in there and you've got your pricing, kind of expensive, I should bring that down, and it's ready to go. So you can start to bring traffic to the website. If I were to view that, it would look like this, right? And I'd have to add the countdown timer. And that's pretty much it, ready to go, ready to send traffic to and sell. But for the pages, right? I wanted to go through some of the pages that I have. About Us is just a really generic page I've got. I think I copy and pasted it from my previous store. And it's just the same type of text I've um, written for pretty much all my stores, right? You can copy and paste it yourself and fill in um, your name into here, wherever you find my name or the name of the store, your name store. Contact us, you can download a contact us form um, and that'll give you something sim simple like this. You don't have to customize it too much. It's good enough for people to kind of use return policy, shipping policy and products. I'd like, if you if you guys want, you can just copy the same as this. So you go to grabfrenzy.com, click on the click on the page, and just copy and paste that straight into your store. Make sure you you change simple things like um, the name of the store. So somewhere in here, I've got grabfrenzy.com. So make sure you change that to your website store because the last thing you want is people to read this and be like, oh, what's this guy talking about? That's not even his store. 